What's up, bitches? How you doing? I'm doing all right. Thanks for asking. Appreciate it. Uh, actually, up on my way to the store. You know, today, today I'm off. I got my mother coming to town tomorrow. And you know what I feel like doing, man? I feel like getting some chewing tobacco. I feel like getting some dip. I like that wintergreen long cut, and that's what the fuck I'm going to do today, man. I feel like dipping. So, if y'all got a problem with it, man, you can go fuck your mother. Anyways, I digress. Just real quick, I want to give a shout out to black men in this country. And I'm talking about American black men. You know, I know I've talked a little shit in the past. Not, not, not even shit. I've just voiced my prejudices. I have. Yeah, that's right, I got some prejudices in my heart. You know, but at the end of the day, man, I respect real. I respect real people who talk about how they honestly feel, who talk about the reality of subject matter that is applicable to to all people. And I've been watching a lot of black YouTubers lately, namely Fresh Out, Life After the Penitentiary, shout out to Big Herc. I like MGTOW Knowledge, he's a black fella, and I like a guy named, uh, named Brandon Tatum. He's a black fella as well, and I want to give a shout out to y'all. I know I've, I know I've talked, not not shit, not, not like, I don't like it. It's just like, I guess what I'm trying to say here is that a lot of black men, American black men, keep it real. They do. They 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 speak the truth, man. A, a, a lot of them do. Not all of them, but a lot of them do. And that's something that I wish that my people did more, because we have an epidemic in this country where white men are killing themselves man white men white american men have the highest suicide rate in in the country for various reasons white men are censoring themselves they're filtering what they say they filter their their truth and that pisses me off that my own type of people are doing that when i ha when i watch these black youtubers i admire what they do you know cuz they're a lot like me so I just want to give a shout out to y'all, man. For anybody that keeps it real, I don't care what you got in between your legs or what color you are, but I know I've made a lot of videos in the past where I talk about black people, this and that, and I don't, I don't really talk too much shit. It's just more like my prejudices and how I feel, and some of my prejudices are just. They are just, because some black people fucking suck, but a lot of white people fucking suck too, man. A lot of Hispanics and whatever suck too man and I, and I just wanted to point that out um you know so yeah I just thought I'd point that out so definitely check out Brandon Tatum I'm a big fan of his channel I'm a big fan of MGTOW knowledge I think his name is Darius McCullough and I'm a big fan of fresh out life after the penitentiary not that I plan on going to prison but you never know you never know man but I just I just find, I just love watching real motherfuckers, man. I just love watching real people, man. I love that shit. That is awesome. And I think that's a big reason why you guys watch me. So, anyways, I digress, everybody. I got an email. Let me actually pull this thing up. I got an email from a guy named Shane. And uh, let's see what he said here. Hold up. Here we go. Shane Dancy. Question for YouTube. He says, Hello, Howard. I hope all is well. I just wanted to know your thoughts on TV. With so many people watching TV for many hours a day, do you consider it a waste of time or do you watch a lot of TV? Thanks. Yeah, got it. So, with so many people watching TV for hours, yeah, man. I mean, you have people all over the country and, and, and the world, but, let, but let's talk about America cause, because, you know, because I'm American. Let's talk about America. Um... Man, a lot of people's lives, you know, they get up every morning, they sit in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, drinking their fucking Starbucks, their watered-down, corporate-ass Starbucks, they go to their lame-ass job that sucks that they dread going to, they're, they're there for eight, nine hours a day, including a lunch break, they hate everybody they work with, they sit in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic on the way home, and guess what they do? Guess what they look forward to every day in that fucking traffic on 95 South going to fucking Prince William County, Virginia. Guess what they fucking dread? I'm sorry. Guess what they fucking look forward to? They 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 look forward to turning on that fucking TV, man, and watching their... Man, watching their fucking little program. 
No, I don't watch TV. Ever. Ever. I don't like movies. I think movies suck. And by the way, just a disclaimer. No, I never saw Black Panther. It's not because I don't like black people. It's because superhero movies are fucking gay. And they suck. Alright, that's why I didn't watch Black Panther. So go fuck yourself. Um... Nah, man. I don't like TV. I think it is stupid. Is it a waste of time? Now, that's that's what I want to talk about in this video. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video. Do I think TV is a waste of time? Well, yeah, I do think it's a waste of time. But, so is everything else. You know why everything's a waste of time? Everything? You know? Check this out. So, you can go to school for 10 fucking years, man. Get a master's degree. You can, you can develop some kind of medicine to save millions of lives, to cure cancer. You can make YouTube videos to inspire people. <laughs> you can travel the world. You can, man, you can do whatever, man. You can write books. You can be a famous musician, artist, uh, actor, w whatever. Check this out. No matter what you do. No matter how productive you think your fucking life is, check this out. You're going to die, man. You're going to fucking drop dead one day. And now, now, now some of y'all are saying, well, well, my legacy will live on. People will, will remember me. Well, maybe so, but check this out. One day the earth, this action, I'm talking about the earth, this, this fucking ball that's, go, that's flying through outer space right now is going to be destroyed one day. The human race will be destroyed one day. You know, the thing about people is... People have egos, man. People have egos. And I do too sometimes. I'm guilty. And I know you, you motherfuckers are too. I'm not the only one, man. We all have egos. And ego is good to a point because ego... Ego helps us get out of bed in the morning, right? Ego makes us want to do things that are outside of our comfort zone. Ego makes us try ego makes us say how we feel on the inside right but at the end of the day man the truth is we're all gonna fucking die man as depressing as it sounds you know and i'm not depressed about that like like i'm not making this video because i'm sad boo boo be boo i'm a little bitch i'm not saying that <laughs> i'm just saying that whether you go home every day after your bullshit ass job and you watch TV, mindlessly, just what fucking watch TV, stupid actors and actresses rehearsing their lines, some dumbass TV show that you're going to forget all about five minutes after you turn it off, whether you write books, whether you make albums for people to listen to, whether you travel the fucking world, whether you are a scientist that, that saves millions of lives, it's all, it's all, it's all a waste of time, dude. Alright, it's all a waste of time. So my point is this, man. Do what the fuck you want to do. Do what you want to do. And me, now me, now me personally, what do I want to do? All I want to do, the only thing I want to do in my life is get up every day. I want to eat good food. I want to wander around. I want to travel the world, see the world. And I want to make a living, a comfortable living. I'm not, I'm not trying to like, be be a millionaire. I I don't care about that. If I can make enough money to where to where I don't have to worry about uh, my bills, and I don't have to worry about how much I spend on food, and I don't have to constantly stress out about like, okay, well, well, do I eat today, or do I pay my bill today? Do I eat today, or do do I buy a new pair of shoes? You know, because my shoes are fucking busted up. If I can just not have to worry about the necessities like food, clothing, shelter, water, etc. I'm cool with that, man. Because I'd rather make a basic living and do what I want to do and travel the world and just see different shit, you know, than, 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 than be one of these people who just slave away at a bullshit rat race job and try to marry some dumbass fucking bitch who doesn't even love them in the first place, man. That's, yeah, I said it. Give a fuck. And I almost did that. I almost did it, man. Several years ago, I almost married this black woman. Not that her being black matters, but it kind of did, just because her family definitely did not approve. My family approved. 
Her family did not. You know why? Because I got these pretty blue eyes. That's why. That's why they were mad. <laughs> oh, man. I was living that life for a while where, you know, I got up every day at 4 fucking a.m., worked this job I hated, <sighs> fucked my fiance. I begrud begrudgingly, what's the word? Begrudgingly, begrudgingly, whatever. I fucked my fiance when I didn't really feel like it, just because I wanted to keep her. I don't miss that shit at all, man. I like being alone, man. I like being single. And I am going to travel the world again. As y'all know, I lived in Cambodia for two years. I wouldn't take it back for a second. And I'm going to be traveling South America by the end of this fucking year. Mexico, South America, all that, all that shit. Okay. So my point is, is watching TV a waste of time? Yeah, it is. But so is a bunch of other shit. So is going to school. So is, so is, you know, working a, a, an important right quote unquote important job so is going to prison dude life is a waste of time but it's also an opportunity to live a life that you want for yourself so that's my point man if you if you're happy with watching tv every day hey man f fucking go for it dude fucking go for it man but if you're not happy with watching tv every day i highly suggest you take a good hard look in the mirror and look at yourself, man, and, and, and ask yourself what you want to do in this life to be happy and content in this life. And for me, watching TV is not going to make me happy. I am i don't like watching TV. Now, I do watch YouTube and stuff, and I do watch, you know, like MMA fights and stuff. But but for me, that's what brings me happiness. Like, that's what brings me entertainment and, 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 and intellectual uh, uh, stimulation, if you will. You know, but... Um, I'm not I'm not trying to like start a big multi-million dollar business. I'm not I'm not trying to conquer the world. I'm I'm just trying to go about this life, you know, peacefully, quietly and uh you know, also make YouTube videos for y'all because I love making YouTube videos for you guys. You know? I have a lot of supporters out there and a lot of followers and sometimes I lose sight of that. And I want to kill myself sometimes, honestly. But when I think about the people that watch my channel and think about the people that I can maybe help inspire or pass on this this um, extraterrestrial knowledge to, that that gives me a reason to get out of bed every day. So anyways, man, shout out to all my followers, all my fans, my haters, whatever the fuck you want to call yourself. I appreciate y'all watching me, man. Shout out to Brandon Tatum. Shout out to Big Herc. Shout out to Darian McCullough. And I'm sorry for any black people watching. I know I've said some shit in the past where I kind of generalize black people. And like I said, sometimes my prejudices do hold true. But sometimes your prejudices hold true as well. And that's just how it is, man. So I, I like anybody who's real. I like anybody who speaks the truth. I don't give a fuck what color you are. So anyways, man. If you guys want to shoot me an email, you, you guys you guys want to say what's up, you guys want to want me to talk about something in a video, no joke striking at gmail.com. Bitches, fuck Instagram, like my shit, share my shit on Facebook, y'all. Facebook.com slash no joke coward. I'm about to go buy some skull wintergreen long cut and have myself a good old time, man. Peace.